Hi, welcome to Heroes Mart Homeschool Academy. My name is Mrs. Nita. Let's begin with the word of prayer. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we shall go. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, it's so good to have you back. This is Lesson 21A, if you're following along. We also have the workbook for this lesson, easily accessible. If you follow the link in the description below, here in the box, you'll see the memory verse. So you'll want to work to memorize that throughout the week. Well, let's go ahead and sing our warm-up song. Are you ready to warm up? Oh, let's get started. Here we go. If you're ready to learn, clap your hands. If you're ready to learn, stamp your feet, bum bum. If you're ready to learn, if you're ready to learn, then come and sing with me. If you're ready to learn, clap your hands, clap, clap. If you're ready to learn, stamp your feet, bum bum. If you're ready to learn, if you're ready to learn, then come along with me. Yay, good. So we're all ready to uh, start our lesson. We're warmed up, aren't we? Well, let's um, talk about our consonant sound of the day. The consonant sound of the day is The consonant sound of the day. And we know that that is represented by the letter S. We've talked about this in previous lessons. If you need a review, you may refer back to the first 14 lessons, uh, videos that you can find um, in the playlist. So we know that S says S. Try that again with me, go S. Yeah, S. You're pushing air from between your teeth, that's. So our word family of the day is a, uh, n, un. Uh, mm. When you take those two sounds and separate them, you have uh, uh. The letter U says uh. The letter N, remember, it says n. Mm. So you have uh, n, un, 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 un. So the word family of the day is un. And the consonant sound is Equipped with that, uh, with those pieces of information, I believe you can complete your activity on page five at this time. Great work. Well, I trust you had time to complete that. Um, what we're going to do now is talk more about this word family of the day. So we have a uh, n. Mm, Un, and we also have the consonant sound, which is s. What do you? What word do we get when we combine the consonant sound of the day s with the word family? Un, un, un. So we have s, un, s, un, sun, sun, sun. We get the word sun. So the word is sun. And you may have already seen that in your workbook if you have it. Sun. Uh, mm, uh, mm, sun. Sun. Good work. So this is sun. We have our uh, mm. Let's think for rhyme time, which you can find on page 14. Let's think about some words that rhyme with this word sun. Sun. I think I've got one. B un b b a n b a n bun. It's b u n b a n bun. So bun also rhymes with sun. Can you think of one more word that rhymes with sun? Let's see, sun, bun. Got one. Un. 
Uh, mm, fun, fun, F U N, fun. The letter F says, U says, uh, N says, mm, fun. And look, there's our word family, un. Our word family is just traveling along with us. You can see the word family here in sun. You can see it here in bun. And you can also see it in fun. So do you see how you can come up with new words just by changing the initial onset, that initial letter? That consonant letter, when you change it, you can get brand new words. So while you're thinking about coming up with new words by attaching an initial letter before your word family, you may pause your video at this time and complete the assignment on page 14 and you may find other rhyming words on that page. Great work. Well, I trust you had time to do that. Um, what we're going to do now is go into our Bible history portion of the uh, lesson. This is called Bible Journey. We take a journey in the Bible. In the past, we've talked about different characters from the Bible, such as David and Daniel, and we've had an opportunity to read about them and learn about who they are and whether they pleased God or displeased God. Do you remember that? And how that helps us to know what we should do to please God in our own lives. It'll teach us moral lessons. Well, um, we've recently taken um, an opportunity to start learning more about who God is, and we're doing that in the book called Good Night God. Um, and um, we're um, able to read about certain traits in God. We've talked about kindness and faithfulness and love. And today we're going to be reading about how God is always with you. God is always with you. And so let's get the book right now. Here it is. We've got a, a new book because <laughs> I think we'll be needing this for many years. Good Night God by Bonnie Rickner Jensen, illustrated by Donna Chapman. It's just a good book. I recommend it because I like it. God is always with you. The scripture says, you can be sure that I will be with you always. Matthew 18, uh, 28, 20. A bird will perch to sing a song, and then quickly fly away. The sun, ooh, sun, do you see that? Our word of the day is in blue. The sun will rise and shine on you, then set to end the day. The dandelion stand and bloom, then float off on the breeze. The squirrel will stop to sit up straight, then scurry if you sneeze. But listen closely, little one, though most things come and go. God is always where you are. He loves you head to toe. Good night, God. Thank you that I am never alone. You are always with me. Good. It's a good thing to remember that God is always with you and that you are never alone. So if you like, you may pause your device at this time and complete the drawing assignment on page seven. Great work. Well, I trust you had time to do that. Um, and drawing and coloring and writing helps you to retain what it is you've just read. Okay. What we're going to do now is do Roman numerals review. This is lesson 21, and it is the last lesson that we'll spend talking about Roman numerals. And in the past, we've talked about them maybe four or five times in previous um, videos. Um, so this will be our very last opportunity to talk about it. We're just going to do a, a review of the numbers that we've already discussed. And we will also do a final review in 21B. A review just means we're going to look back over what we've talked about and make sure we have committed it to memory, okay? So 
The very first number here is five. And actually, before we start talking about the numbers, let's make our chart, shall we? We have the letter I. There are three major uh, numerals that we've discussed in the past. The letter I, the letter V, which we'll talk about what they represent. And finally, X. We've talked about these three letters, but um, they stand in for numerals. Do you remember what the letter I represents? The letter I stands for the number one. It represents the number one. So there you have number one. What about the letter B? What does letter B stand for? It stands in for the number five. Good memory, yes. This stands in for number five. It means number five. And what about the letter X? What number is uh, represented by the letter X? You've got it. The letter X is the number 10. So these are our basic um, numbers that we've been talking about. Now let's try to apply it to the numbers we have on the board. So the very first number we have here is the number five. What of these numerals stands for number five? Yes, the letter B. The letter B is five. You knew that. Good job. So the letter B is five. And remember, this is just a quick review. So um, if you need more in-depth um, teaching around the subject, you can refer back to previous lessons when we've done that. The number nine. The number nine. Do you remember what the number nine, how we represent the number nine? We've talked about this several times and I've asked you to just commit it to memory. And that is this form, IX. IX represents nine. Yeah, when the low, when the smaller number comes before the larger number, you subtract. So you have X, which is 10, and the one, which means, the I, which means one, so 10 minus one, you're looking at number nine, okay? But um, for now, you can just remember IX is nine, and that's probably easier. The number 12, how do we write the number 12? Let's see, how do we write the number 12, a Roman numeral? So we need 12 units. We know that X is 10, that's going to make a, get us there faster, won't it? Knowing that X is 10 is going to get us there really quickly. So we're going to write that one down. We have 10, we're trying to get to 12. So this is, this is going to help us get there. How many of these do we need to get to 12? We have 10, we need 11, 12, we need two I's. Yes, we need two I's to make this number 12. So let's add them. One eye and two eyes. Good job. So now we have 12. The next number is 17. So this is 17, our number. We're wanting to write it in Roman numeral form. How do we do that? Well, we know that X is 10, so that's a, that's a good place to start. Let's write our number, our letter X here, which means 10. But we still, have, we still need seven more numbers. We need to get to seven, we need seven more. So the, the way we're going to do that is by using a V, because V is five. So that'll help us get there really quickly. We're going to write that down. So, so far we have 15. X is 10 plus five. That's 15, 10 plus five is 15. But we need to get to 17. So how many of these do we need to get to 17? Two, we need two of these. That's right, so we need two letter I's combined with our 15 to get to the number 17. So let's write that down. Now we have, let's add it together, 10 plus, which is 15 
plus two eyes, which is 16, 17. We have 17. We did it. Yeah, we did it. Good job. Let's try to write the number 23. How do we write the number 23? Let's see. Hmm. We know that the, this 10 is going to get us there really quickly. How many 10s do we need to make 20? Well, we have one X is 10. If we get two X's, 10 plus 10 is 20. And we talked about this before. 10 plus 10 is 20. So we'll need two X's. One X is 10. Another X means 10 more. So 10 plus 10 is 20. We'll take two X's. So here's the first X and the second X. Great, so we have, we have that, but we need 23. We have 20, we need 23. So we need three more numbers or numerals. Yes, we need three of these. If you said that you are correct, we need three letter I's because I is one. So let's add three of these onto uh, our X's here, just next to them. One, two, three. And there we have it, 23. 10 plus 10 is 20. Plus one is 21. Plus another one is 22. Plus one more I, 23. Good job, way to go, you're brilliant. So we have 23, let's talk about 26 now. So we need to get to the number 26. How do we make, how do we write this in Roman numeral form? Well, we know that X is 10, and we know that two X's will help us to make 20. So let's start by writing that part down. Let's make two X's onto the board. Here we go. One, two, so we have X, X is 20. This says 20, we need 26, not 20. So we need to add some more numbers to make this 26 like this. So that means we need six more numbers. We need six, we need to get up to six more. Well, B is five, so that helps us because that's that takes out a, a big portion of that. Let's write the B down. So we have 10 plus 10, which is 20. Now we have 20 plus five, that's 25. But this number says 26, so we need to get to 26, not just 25. What else do we need? We need a letter I, you got it. We need to add one more number here. And this, boys and girls, is how you get to 26. XXVI, 26. And remember, this is just a review. If, if we're going too fast, feel free to refer to previous video lessons covering this topic. Okay, so we're going to write the number 30, and uh, this is a fun one. We know that X is 10, we've talked about that a lot. X is 10, X is 10, X is 10. Okay, and we know that two X's means 20, because we're adding by 10s, 10, 20, but we need to get to 30. So if two X's is 10, then how many more X's do we need to get to 30? We need one more X for a total of three X's. 10, 20, 30. 10, 20, 30, we need three of these. We need three, so let's write this down. 10, 20, 30. 10, 20, 30. And this is a lot of fun um, because very soon you're going to be doing skip counting by tens. And so this is a really great introduction to that. X is 10 plus another X is 20 plus a third X is 30. And if we were to attach another X, that would be 40. So 10, 20, 30, 40. But for now we have three X's which represents 30. Let's try the final number for this review and that's 38. We need to make 38. So we know that three X's is 30, 10, 20, 30. So we need to write three X's here. Okay. 
Okay, so we have our three X's. We have 30 on the board, but we need to get to 38. So we have 30, but we need eight more numerals. Then what combination of these do we need to put together to get to eight? If you said B is five, you're right. That's five. That takes, that takes a, a good portion of the eight away. So now we have 35. 10, 20, 30 plus five is 35. But we're still trying to get to 38. 35 isn't the same as 38. We need 38. We have 35. So how many more of these, how many of these do we need to get to 38? We need, let's see, 35, we need 36, 37, and 38. We need three. We need three of these letter I's to make 38. So let's write this out. One letter I, two letter I's, and three letter I's. And I find that this is running really closely to our, our little review, uh, our um, cheat chart. So I'm just going to erase it. We don't need it anymore. But that is how you write 38. We have 10, 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, and 38. And boys and girls, you just performed your uh, Roman numerals. You just wrote them out. Good job. Way to go. That's... um. It's a fun skill to learn and it's like its own language. At this point, if you like, you may press pause on your device and complete the assignment found on page 11. Great work. Well, I trust you had time to do that. This is the segment in our lesson where we like to make a joyful noise to the Lord. We like to stop what we're doing and acknowledge God. So if you um, don't already, go ahead and get your instruments, tambourine, your drums, your guitar, your piano, your xylophone, or maybe you just have a couple of spoons and um, a pot. That is perfectly acceptable. God loves you, whatever you have. Let's bring those out so we can sing. This, the lyrics to the song can be found on page 29 and it's called Father Abraham. It's a fun one. It's fun. Okay, here we go. Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord right on Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham, I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord, right arm, left arm, Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham, I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord, right arm, left arm, right foot, Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham, I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord, right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot, Father Abraham had many sons, and many sons had Father Abraham, I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord, right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot, turn around. <laughs> Father Abraham had many sons, many sons had Father Abraham, I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord, right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot, turn around, sit down. Yay! Good. That's the Father Abraham song. It's a lot of fun. Um, you may continue to sing along and sing that tune to yourself over the week and learn the lyrics. And if you have siblings, brothers and sisters, you all can do it together. It makes it even funner. Okay, so um, right now, we're going to put that down. And right now, we're going to turn to um, our handwriting portion of this lesson, which can be found on page 8 in your workbook. And uh, we're going to practice writing these letters. Remember, this is not um, a lesson on how to write the letters, but how to space the letters when you're writing in your own journals back home. So we're going to be writing our word family of the day. 
and um, the word family of the day is fun. And we're going to practice writing it here, and you can practice this in your workbook as well. And if you don't have a workbook, just grab a piece of paper, and you can practice writing the letters U and N together. Okay, here we go. So we have the letter U. We're going to go up, down, and add a little stem there at the bottom. And then for the letter N, we're going to make a line down just uh, with about this space. We're looking about this amount of space between the two letters. And then we're going to go back to the top and do a curve down. And that's un. So un is un. Let's try this again. So we're going to go down, up, a little curve, a little stem. And then we're going to make the line for our n just right, just about this space between the two letters, just next to the letter u. And then we're going to go up. The little curve and there you have un. remember when you're writing your own words you can add whatever um, initial letter beginning letter in the front of your word family to form your own words so you can try we talked about sun that's a fun one sun uh, fun is fun so you can also write the letter f if you write the letter s you could even change these out and write other words that form, or write other letters that make words, such as bun or, um, <laughs> or in for none. And there are other rhyming words in your workbook if you want to uh, review that. And so the purpose of learning this is because on in your workbook on page, um, 16, you have journal time, which is an opportunity for you to go in and write down different parts of your lesson that you enjoyed. And in doing so, oftentimes I find students want to use these words. So we uh, talk about spacing so that you can do that properly. Okay, well, and um, as a note to parents, caregivers, teachers, instructors, uh, whomever may be watching this with your student, in your child's workbook, the latter part of the workbook, starting at page 17, you can find some art and craft opportunities for the student. There is a classifying sizes um, craft for the student to do. It's not really a craft, it's just classifying, helping the student to be able to um, recognize bigger versus smaller. And there's also some flashcards here as well for counting up to the number 20. Uh, that may be useful if you have a student who may be still struggling with that, or if you have other students who could benefit from that, or if you just want to use it as review for the student who is familiar with counting up to 20 and is comfortable with that. Um, well, at this time, it looks like we're at the very end of another great lesson. Thank you for joining me. And until next time, goodbye, goodbye, I'll see you next time. Goodbye, goodbye, and may God bless you. Goodbye, goodbye, I'll see you next time. Goodbye, goodbye, and may God bless you. Goodbye, little hero. I'll be your hero's body. And as you study with heroes more, I will be your friend. So don't you?